here in Seattle, a city famous for coffee, we have grown accustomed to that ubiquitous little heart swirled into the foam of our lattes. But if you're able to see it with fresh eyes, that cup of coffee is a tiny work of art. At Leon Coffee House, a Mexican cafe in the U District, they take latte art to the next level, delighting customers with their cute foamy creations and flavors like horchata, mango, and Nutella. Every mug is like a miniature gallery, but these baristas aren't the only artists creating food and drink that's almost too beautiful to eat. I'm Rachel Bell, host of Your Last Meal podcast and longtime Seattle journalist and food writer. Here on The Nosh, we explore some of the region's most delicious stories. Today's adventure, when food becomes art. Linda Miller Nicholson is a pasta artist. She has made an entire career of creating beautiful edible art powered by fruit and vegetable purees, the only thing she uses to color her vivid creations. Butterfly pea flower for blue, harissa for orange, beets and paprika for red. I visited Linda in her teaching studio to make some rainbow pasta magic. I started this journey basically because Bentley, my child, pasta was his favorite food <laughs> at age four. Yeah. Vegetables, we're not. I started putting the vegetables into the pasta dough. Yeah. And he got really excited. He was like, oh, like green, that's great, you know, but my favorite color is red right now. Can you make red, you know? And so it was like, oh, beets, can you make yellow? Yeah. I have always loved turmeric, so that was kind of a no-brainer. But Prince passed away. And when Prince died, I was like, I have to nail purple. I have to like, get the purple. I've got yeah. to do a proper homage. So I always start first uh, by cracking a few eggs into the blender. Will you um, help us with our nice, good technique? Thank you. Okay, so I was super excited to test the theory, will it pasta purple. with blueberries? And this is what happened. By itself, it's just not, this is not Prince Redolent. Yeah, like, well, at first it looks a little gray and then it exactly. gets a little purple. Exactly. I yeah. mean, you can, you sort of get purple, but yeah. so it was also the first color that I was like, I wonder if I like look at the color wheel basically. Yeah. And if I can use something that's adjacent. So I use uh, beets. I'm going to start with just a couple. Like, oh, okay. Just watch what happens in the blender just by doing a couple of those. Okay. So even by adding just a teeny little bit of the other ingredient, it it's like it really starts pulling purple. Just use a little bit of the ingredient, a little bit more, a little bit more until yeah. you get the exact shade. So now I've put all the rest of the purple. Let's go purple right now. Let's okay. Say, yeah. So I am curious though how it did go from, oh, I'm making this food for my son and he's eating vegetables finally to making really intricate, amazing pasta art and, you know, making a living out of it. Like what are some of the early steps that sure. got you there? Yeah. Well, so fairly early on, uh, I had a uh, publishing house reach out and um, they were like, this is a great idea. You're taking it to a level that no one has really taken it to before because yeah. people were definitely making green, you know, simpler things like yeah. that, but no one was making 25 different colors. Yeah. So they were like, can you put that on paper? The process of writing the book very much helped to launch it in a career sense. Yeah. But also for me, there is a sense of meaning as much as I want to make things that are beautiful. I also uh, like to try to make the world a better place. So yeah. if I can do that through this artistic medium, I will always choose that. I think it's a really interesting form of art in that it goes away. You spend quite a bit of time making it and then it's gone. It's like a mandala, exactly. Yeah. And I think philosophically that really hits me in the heart a lot because of the fact that nothing is meant to be forever. Nothing yeah. is meant to fully be possessed or contained. And I love the fact that it is this like, it's about the process of creating yeah. it and it's about putting, you know, sort of all your love into it. Like I feel like food tastes better 
when it has your heart in yeah. it. Mine feels really good. Do you see how it bounced back? You yeah. kind of pressed it and it's starting to come back to shape. That yeah. actually, that's it your feels indicator. Good. Prince would be proud. Ooh, alliteration too. Proud Prince. So let's wrap them up and then we'll get to making our rainbow sheet of pasta. Okay. How have rainbows come to define your life? What is the rainbow to you? I feel that rainbows define everyone's life, whether <laughs> they know it or not. Ra uh -huh. Rainbows are the raison d'etre. I mean, the refraction of light into beautiful color. What is not to love there? <laughs> I think that there is sort of socio-cultural implications with the rainbow and being a, a massive ally and understanding what the representation of the rainbow means there. Yeah is really fundamentally and intrinsically important to me as a yeah. human. It ties so well into pasta because why stop it green? Yeah. Why not explore the entire breadth of the rainbow? The world is composed of every single one of these colors and not one of them should be discounted or ignored. And nothing goes to waste. The scraps get pressed together and rolled out, creating a marbled masterpiece that we use to make a luscious ricotta filled caramelle. It takes hours to create this pasta, but the process is very satisfying. And the meal is a mindful experience as you marvel at every single Technicolor bite. Before I arrived, Linda made a gorgeous focaccia decorated, of course, with a rainbow of vegetables. Oh, I feel like those look so good. Thank you for delicious. teaching me how to make rainbow pasta. Well, oh yeah, like, we gotta cheese our up. So that we can eat. So we can eat, Exactly, yeah. yes. So this yes. is brown butter and crispy Just sage. Super simple, exactly. Okay. Yep. I'm so excited to try. A little rolly rolly. Oh. We get to enjoy the fruits and vegetables of, of our, our labor. labor. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make mm. mine not hang off the fork. Oh well, it's just mm. gonna be that way. Mmm. -hmm. That's so good. We did a good job. I think we did a really good mm -hmm. job. Mmm, yum. Cheers. Mm. Cheers to eating the rainbow. To always eating the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs>